Adamantanium, the metal alloy that makes Wolverine indestructible. Oh no, wait, that's adamantium. Unobtainium, a double pedal from Crazy Tube Circuits that combines three gear elements that are out of reach for most of us. Not one, but two Dumble style amps on this side, and then a Klon on this side. It's coming in at 289 euros, and in this video, we're gonna find out if it's any good. Before we go any further, I need to tell you two things. Number one, I've never played through either a Dumble amp or a real clon. And number two, this is a sponsored video, but all views, thoughts, and bum notes are my own. Is that okay? Okay, let's move on. Today I'm playing this rather gorgeous Nick Johnston signature Schecter guitar. That's going into the Unobtainium, which is going into the Fender Deluxe Reverb, and then into some vintage V30 speakers in my 2x12 cab. That's my standard go-to setup for testing pedals. However, today it sounds a little lackluster without the Unobtainium, and I really miss the unobtain Unobtainium when it's not on. But let's do some clean tones. So this is the Fender and the Vintage V30's No Unobtainium. <laughs> Clean and um, warm. Let's put on the unobtainium. Just the dumbbell side at first. So let's have the ODS. It's giving it a little bit of grit, giving it more character. But now let's put on the clon side. so wonderfully dynamic. It is, I mean, it's, it's almost clean when I just pick a little bit, and then when I hit it heavy, it crunches up beautifully. Change pickups and it changes everything. You might notice I've got the gain almost off. So it's there's off, and that's where I had the gain. And this is my favorite way to use a clon style pedal. Just having that treble up pretty darn high, and then the volume to taste, and then the gain is just pushing it as, a, as an almost clean boost. And that for me is where clon styles excel. So you can also use the, the pedal without the amp, so you can use either side independently. So let's turn the amp off and have that uh, there. It's brighter, it's a little bit louder, so it sounds better, but I miss it when it's not there. Let's try and give it some overdrive. So that was minimum gain, let's try about a third gain. Maximum gain. I know I've got the treble up really high, so let's just cut that back a little bit. Nah, it needs to be up there. It's good, it's good. It's a nice sounding clon pedal. It's, it's one of the better ones I've tried, although there are so many on the market. Um, and as, as I've said, I've, I've never actually played a real one. 
Uh, it has a buffered mode or a true bypass mode. Just click it. There we go. So this is buffered mode. <laughs> True bypass mode. Now that's gonna make more difference when you've got other pedals in your chain, of course. And then we've got over here, the modified mode or the stock mode. In modified mode, there's a higher gain and higher output with less compression and more open. Let's put that to the test. Got the gain all the way up. Let me just turn that down a bit. Let's go to stock mode. Stock mode is definitely quieter. Let's try and compensate with some volume. I think I prefer mod modified mode. Modified, that's half it's fun to say. Um, yeah, so with the more open sound, I'm gonna leave it in modified mode. There is a stock mode if you wanna play with it. Pa ching but I'm gonna keep it modified. Pa chong As for treble, let's play with that. Okay, so it can get too bright. Um, I always try not to set stuff with my eyes because that looks like there's too much treble on there, but it sounds good, so therefore it is good. So far, so good. I really enjoyed the Crossfire pedal from Crazy Tube Circuits, and when I made that video, I found myself playing stuff that I hadn't normally played. And I'm doing that again with this pedal. This pedal is making me play like I normally wouldn't play, and it's not very forgiving. So whereas I like high gain stuff that, like fuzz stuff that you can hide behind and then just sort of and and riff and, and make some sounds. This one, if you play and you hit some wrong notes, you're gonna know about it. So let's just um, put it back where it was. <laughs> where did I have that gain in the, in the demo thing? I think it was about, I think I had that there. Ah, the game was all the way down. Yeah, you're right. So it's a little, I don't know if I'm demoing it properly, but when I'm touching the strings but not playing, you can hear it. And with these settings, you can't really hide behind the gain because there's not much gain there, even though it's a really gritty sound. And when I play with fuzz pedals, you can hide behind. And you can't with this, you can hear every little. Something we need to talk about is these two jack sockets here, send and return. This is send and return. You can put a pedal in between, the in the circuit, in between the amp and the, and the clon. Let's try that. Let's try a fuzz pedal. <laughs> Let's move that switcher up there for a moment and put the fuzz pedal in here. There. So you can't, I'm not going to move the unobtainable. There we go. I've got the Octahive uh, from Beatronics. That should behave quite nicely. So the advantage of this is that in the send return, you can put a pedal or a collection of pedals in between the clon and the dumble. So you could put it before the clon, but now you can use the clon to drive whichever pedal you've got in that, or pedals. In that, uh, in that loop. It is um, quite a lovely little feature that uh, we're gonna find out if it works with an Octahive fuzz. Let's start with just the amp. It's kicking the clown. Let's 
let's click in the octave part. Let's turn that clone off for a second. What does that sound like? Doesn't sound as good. Sounds better with that clone pushing it, which is a surprise. I mean, I love the Octahive. Now it sounds even better. Yeah, it sounds very cool in that, in that return. That opens up a whole new world for trying each and every pedal that I own uh, in that send return. I think fuzzes would sound great because they're being pushed by that clon. Um, I remember I said it with the Crossfire last time. I now don't know which one I'd rather have on my board, the Crossfire or this one, the Unobtainium. What I will say is that um, from where I'm sitting, I can't quite see that there and then because this knob's in the way and it looks like that says Nobtanium, which is really fun. So it's a Nobtanium and that's just super childish and I'm really sorry, crazy tube circuits. Sorry. Right, it's time to stop messing around with fuzz and open up that pedal and see what's inside. I want to know what is making this crazy tube circuits pedal tick. Moment of truth, what's inside? A circuit board, who'd have thank it? Okay, so there's this little um, plastic sheet to to uh, isolate it. Then I am not going to go in there. That is far too complicated and I don't want to break this pedal. But looking at it, all I want to test really is, is the build quality and that fits beautifully. There's a lot more going on in there than I expected. I know that's a ridiculous thing to say, but there are two circuit boards and there's all kinds of things going on in there. Can't really show you without destroying the pedal, and I really don't want to do that because I definitely want to play this in the future. I'm, I know that I'm doing you a disservice there. I know I should be um, taking that apart, but because I like this pedal, I'm not going to. So the Unobtainium, it's coming in at 289 euros or thereabouts, which is not a cheap pedal, but you are not getting cheap sounds here. There are plenty of clon style pedals on the market, the Wish ones, the, the Silver Horseman, the Golden Horseman, all that stuff. And there are plenty of Dumble uh, pedals on the market. So I, I played one, a Sonic Cake one, uh, fairly recently, and it was okay. This is next level. This is definitely, definitely in that price range of quality. It is not two cheap pedals stuck together. It is two wonderful tone circuits melded together by a crazy guy in Greece. This is the kind of pedal that makes me never want to turn it off. And in making this video, I've turned the camera off several times just to mess around and play with it. And I wasn't even going to make a, a track for it, but then I had to. And it sits so well in the mix. I've had an absolute blast with this pedal. And if you're thinking of buying it, then I would absolutely 100% recommend that you do. I'm trying to think of something negative. And honestly, the only thing I can come up with is this switch here is a little bit difficult for me to switch with my sausage fingers. And if that is the case, if that is becoming a problem, then of course you've got the external switch and you don't need to buy a crazy tube circuits external switch. You can use any latching switch or most latching switches, shall we say. The form factor is good as well. That's smaller than an actual clon. It's got more features than an actual clon. It's a darn sight cheaper, and it's definitely not as expensive as a Dumble, but it does make my Fender come more alive. And as I said, I want to keep this on, on my amp the whole time, because it sounds better. I love that Crazy Tube Circuits are behind their pedals with a five-year warranty as well. I would love to have this on my board and for it never to go wrong, but it's good to know that if it did, within those five years, I'd be safe. I can genuinely say this is one of my favorite pedals I've ever played. Uh, it, it just sounds better when it's on and worse when it's off. That's a good pedal, right? Okay, you've reached the end of the video, which means that you are in the end of the video club and to prove that you are a member of this prestigious elite, when you leave me a comment telling me what you think of this unobtainium pedal, please also include the phrase, it feels better when it's on. And that let me know that you saw this part of the video and will help YouTube analytics and it's a bit of fun as well, isn't it? Okay, if you want to add this pedal to your pedal collection, then there are links in the video description. Go do that and I will see you in that video over there. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. Some of you don't. What are you playing at? Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.